Every time I come to your house, we just sit around this table and eat. I love it. It's fantastic. I, is this what we've is this what we've become? Mm-hmm. So do you ever use that table or is that just No. No. Never use no, it. I, you know I've used that table once. Really? Only ever once. What for? Uh, to sit. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. To bang your head against. My my neighbour above once complained because there was too much arguing going on. And that was before you had a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was just me in the mirror. But you are you you're so different because you hold everything in here. You don't really let it out. Uh -huh. yeah. You cry if you're drunk. I definitely do cry. Do you, you cry, cry, Fred? I can't imagine you uh, cry. I have cried, yeah, and I'm, by the way, an ugly cryer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember the person in my head, I'm like, what is this going you, you on? You cry at the end of every, oh, every I performance, don't you? Butters. I, I, I remember <laughs> caught myself doing it once, I'm like, this is not a good look for me. I can't, I can't remember. I feel like that. you need a bit of a cry at the minute. You, mm. This guy, basically, you see his, his shoulders. They're looking quite big, right? He's taking on a lot of weight. I feel very emotional at the moment. Like, overwhelmingly emotional about stuff. Like, perhaps it's had to move out of her house, she's lost her mate, and she needs, like, a person there to be strong and support her, but I'm weak. No, no, okay, I'm gonna stop you there, because, look, I, I, you know, we've both known you for a long time, and I think one of the things that you will tell yourself is because everyone knows you as this fun guy that's yeah, like, I don't feel full like of that. energy. Do you feel like she gets, like, the side of you that is quite sad and not? Not that showman. Yeah. I'm really worried that it's almost, I don't know, it's going to drive us apart. Surely if you just have a, a conversation, like, because from everything you've just said to us, it's clear that you're a very sort of loving guy that just wants to do good and she'd be lucky to have you, right? Yeah, but she's finding it hard at the moment. Like, Jamie's so close to his mum. Really? And he calls his mum about six times a day. What? Oh. <laughs> yeah, he actually he does. How boy. is he? How's he doing? He's not his best, but that's probably, like, down to me, I think. We're both, like, in a bit of a, like, a negative rut. Rut at Still, the moment. Yeah. How sad. It's, it's, it's meant to be really exciting. Like, we're meant to be moving in together, yeah. and it's not as exciting as I thought it is. It's a not... As it it's should not be. like the no. best. Jamie probably gets like the brunt of me, and because obviously yeah. he's so busy as well, we can't. We've not really had like much alone time together, and like our our relationship just like laughs. Like we laugh the whole time, and I feel like that sort of part of it has sort of gone a little bit because Ooh. it's just like he's around me, and I'm like not. I'm always like complaining about something. Self. Like there's like a part of me. There's like a dark yeah. cloud, and it's just like and it's so annoying because you need I'm it like, to rain and get it all away, and then the sunshine can come out. This is yeah. insane. So wait, so hold on, so sit back, but it's hold on, so wait, what? Tacos. So the hotel, they they basically don't do this. Don't do like. Mexican food type thing, so they basically did it at like special occasion. They made us tacos. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I feel like crying. You're so cute. But this is crazy. How come you've done this? Well, because so I think so. The past couple months have been really hard, and it's been hard for you for for obvious reasons, and it's been hard for me for different reasons. You have to deal with the whole. Harvey and Emily and all that kind of stuff, and then you're also dealing with me, who's not also being strong and being no, able to... No, yeah, you are always strong, and well, I should also be there for you, like, as your support. Yeah, but you are there, totally. But I spoke to Fred and Mitt the other night, and I kind of just said to them that... Because I was, you know, I love you so much like, more than anything in this entire world. And my... I said this to you, my biggest fear is that because of everything that's going on, you may forget that actually, underneath all this shit and stuff, there is, like, real love here. And sometimes it's like a cloudy day, and it's been cloudy for a bit. But above those clouds, it's like blue sky, and it's just about finding your way back there. <laughs> 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 but it is, right? And that, that's all it is. And at the moment, it's just cloudy and stormy and not fun sometimes. The one thing in life I know for sure is that things aren't forever at all. And even though it's been crap, and even though I've been not... No, you haven't stopped saying that. Well, You're the best. Like, I'm so lucky to have you. You don't realise how great you are. I love you so much. <laughs>
I love you so much. And I'm so lucky that you 